You have models everywhere. Mathematics, we just saw three beautiful examples out of philosophy. You also have models in psychology. This is not my field. I have no experience, no background, so I, I'm not, I cannot teach psychology, but I, I can give two or three examples. Maybe you heard, for example, the MBTI, this matrix in 16 square miles bricks. You can simplify profiles, etc. In, in psychology, you have models with the same comment. They are not true, they are useful. One of the models you can find in psychology is the pyramid of Abraham Maslow. Maslow, he one day proposed a way to understand people's wishes, desire, expectations. And he said, finally, you have five levels of expectation. And it goes from the bottom to the summit. The first level, it's like really the basics. You need to drink, you need to... to that's the basics of the basics. That's level zero. At the first level, you have first floor, you have a kind of new design. Okay, I have food, I can eat. The next step, I want food tomorrow and the next month and the next year. So you want to guarantee the future. That is the first floor. On the third floor, you have food, you know you're going to have food for well, the rest of your life. You have a new kind of expectation. You want to belong. You want to participate. You want to, and that's level number three. At the fourth level, when you belong to a community, there is a new kind of expectation. Okay, I want to be recognized as reward as somebody in the community, but with something uh, additional thing. And then finally, you have the, the fifth level of Maslow. When you have had a lot of the life, you dream of a self-realization, like a full accomplishment of yourself. This is number, number five. Of course, this is not true. And some people don't have enough food and buy a new car just to belong to the community of the owner of the car. So a model is never, to, never true. We know it. But you can use a model like that in many, many different situations. Let's take creativity. Imagine you want to encourage people to propose new ideals. You can use the pyramid. Look, what, look at this. You can see five different ways to encourage people to propose new ideals. At the bottom level, you say, okay, you give an ID, I give you money. Number one, you give an ID, you have a kind of guarantee you'll stay with this, within this company. Number three, okay, give an ID and you'll be a member of the creative people team in the company. On the fourth level, give your ID. Maybe you'll be recognized at the end of the year. Maybe there is a, a big party. You have five minutes with the president. Oh. And at the last level, the top of the pyramid, give your ID. Maybe one day you will see this ID become reality. So you see, th thanks to this pyramid, you can, you can see, you can organize different way to encourage people to, in this particular example, to deliver their ideas. It's a model and a model is useful when and used by many people. Another example, the brain. I have a book with probably hundreds of models of the brain. You can have different view on the brain. Probably one of the most famous is right brain, left brain. Right brain, left brain, it is 40 years old. It was proposed in 77 by Dr. Sperry. He won the Nobel Prize. He showed, he proved with the two hemispheres are completely different. And we have like a simplification in our mind. Left brain is logic. The other is the right brain is kind of magic. Okay. What's funny with models, you can combine models. Look at the, the next one. It's proposed, it was proposed by Hermann. And Hermann combined the left brain, right brain organization. You can see on the, uh, on the picture. He combined with another way 
to modelize the brain. You can split ra rationality, reasoning on one hand, and emotions on the other hand. And when you combine again with a matrix, you have four quadrants. And it was proposed by Hermann as a model of the brain. You see the four quadrants. The left side is the left side. So reason, logic. But if you really an intellectual, it's not exactly the same as somebody who is more emotion oriented. And just to be sure we understand the model, let's take hobbies, for example. When you use the model, you can see the world of hobbies in four categories. For example, chess play, somebody who loves chess, is on the left side, on the upper quadrant, definitely. Somebody who collects stamps, he's on the left side, but probably on the lower quadrant. Because you don't need that kind of reasoning that, no, it's a bit different. It's more connected to emotion. You're so pleased to have the missing stamp. The stamp collection is a hobby on the left uh, bottom side. Then on the right side, more creative, and the, at the bottom right hand side, you have hobbies like dance. If you like music, you, you, you sing. That's music is definitely in the uh, lower right hand quadrants. What about the last one? Philosophy. Philosophy is definitely on the right side. Philosophy is not about being true, not being certain. It's a kind of right brain activity, definitely. But it's also highly connected to the intellectual. So philosophy is definitely a, a hobby you can find on the upper right hand uh, quadrant. So when you have this this pyramid, uh, not this pyramid, in this particular this matrix, you can use it for a lot of purposes, definitely. Let me show you this one. There, there was again somebody who wanted to understand how is the brainstorming working. And the name was Wallace. And he said a good brainstorm or a good creativity process happens in four steps. You need to prepare. That's the first step, you put some information and then you need a kind of pressure, incubation. At the third step, you have, wow, the idea that comes, it's illumination. And to finish, to complete the, the brainstorm, you need a kind of verification. And it's funny to combine those two models and you see on the matrix, the way they are organized, the four steps of Wallis, you can see how they organize in this matrix. So psychology is not my field and I will stop here with psychological examples. But as you have seen, there are models everywhere.